everyone. Welcome back to another lesson. My name is Quincy Davis, as many of you know. And listen, I was trying to do an intro for you like I always do, but it's it's really getting hard because um, I'm just seeing so many drummers around the world get arrested for stupid, terrible drummer habits that they can break. They can change. They really can if they make an effort. I, so many, of, maybe many of you have already been arrested, and I'm sorry. I haven't done more. I'm trying to do more. I'm making this video for you. I don't want any more drummers to get arrested. 2024 has been really tough for so many drummers. And so I'm making this video. I made one last week that I hope helps, but I'm still seeing a lot of drummers get arrested. It's really terrible. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work my way through this, this video. I'm doing my, my best, so hang in there with me. But this list is long. The list that I have for you is long, and it comes from not just me, but drummers all over the world who have already been arrested for some of these things. The list is really long, so um, hang tight. I hope you watch the whole thing because I really don't want you to get arrested for one of these terrible drummer habits to break today. I want you to break it today, all right? All right, if you're ready, this is a long list, so I'm gonna try to keep it brief, but I'll do, I'll do what I can, but it's most important that you hear every habit, okay? I don't want you getting arrested. All right, if you guys are ready, you know what to do. You know what time it is. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but this video deserves it. If you're ready, then let's go! <laughs> All right. I'm feeling better now. I couldn't do the intro at the beginning, so had to get it in. I'm feeling better. I'm ready to give you guys a great lesson. You do not want to skip any of this lesson because I don't want you to be the next drummer to get arrested, okay? All right, and make sure um, you pay attention because I'm going to be shouting you out. If you left a comment, if you responded, um, if you answered my poll on YouTube or in my stories on Instagram, you're getting a little shout out. I'm going to try to make this quick, but the list is long. So hang in there, but watch the whole thing. Promise you it's, it's going to be worth it. All right. So um, the first one comes from Rennie Day Drums. He says, don't play dynamics. Drummers who don't play dynamics. I mentioned this last week. You got to play at dynamics. Um, I'm not going to go into depth with each one because there's a long list, but Always playing too loud. Again, the same thing. That's CJ5656. Um, don't clean your instrument. Now, that's a funny one, but it's true. Some drummers, their drums are ugly and messy and dirty. Clean your damn drums. Only play one genre of music. You can't get away with that these days because there's too many great styles of music to play. Great music. Um, you got to be versatile. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um Let's see. Play when other musicians tune. That's the same cat. Renaday, Renaday's drums. He says they play. So, you know, at, when you get to the gig and you hear other musicians tuning or you hear, hear the piano tuner trying to tune, don't play, okay? Don't get in the way and just start banging and playing stuff because they can't really hear their note, okay? This is from S.E. Jokela. Not adjusting to the room or venue. That is such a great, great tip. Um, and a habit to break. you got to adjust your dynamics to the room. A lot of these are, are dy dynamic related. Um, if you don't do that, then you're going to either sound too loud or too soft. Um, play a lot of drums. Play, play lots of drums fills in, and fills in a song, right? Playing way too much, basically. Be tasty. Um, be thoughtful with when and how, Okay. Um, this is from Blaze E11, not working the weak hand. I'm guilty. He says he's guilty, so at least he admitted it. The weak hand for me is my left hand. Many of you, it's probably left hand, but maybe it's your right hand. Either way, you got to work on it. This is from Parker Sibley. I'll see you in a couple weeks, Parker. 
Um, playing too loud, bad, or lack of touch. Right. So, again, playing too loud, but also making sure you're playing with touch. You're getting a good tone from the kit. Right. Whatever the style, you got to make sure you're getting a good tone by controlling the sound of the drums. Um, this is from Nico Kar Karasik. <laughs> uh, falling in love with your own part, not listening enough. Yeah, you got to listen. That's a horrible habit to just listen to yourself. Um, my man Steve Pruitt, this is, a fun this is probably the funniest one. He just said existing. That's the, that's the habit that some drummers got to break. That's cruel, but it's true. Some drummers just shouldn't be drummers. That's, I can't say it another way. And Steve, thank you, Steve, for saying that. Uh, Nathan BA1, slouching, having bad posture. That's First of all, it's going to hurt your back. You're going to end up with a lot of issues, right? Back issues, hip issues. Make sure you fix your posture. Connor Kent, my main man, Kent Connor, um, random left foot high hat without intention play with intent your left your left foot don't just play random notes in the left foot we hear it okay just because it's not the bass drum we still hear and notice it and it affects the music all right noah colt coastland uh he says drummers that don't play the quarter note on the ride if we're swinging if you're playing jazz you gotta address and deal with that quarter note otherwise you're going to have a hard time swinging, okay? Um, let's see. Human Drew. Human Drew. Pecking, doodling during rehearsal. Right. Again, if you're just always playing, drums can be loud and they can be very annoying. So be careful of that. Animator. Okay, this is from Animator Michael Polvani. He says, assuming you have good meter. I think he's saying um, he's assuming that you have good time, um, but many drummers don't have good time. So you got to work on your time, whether you're working with a, a metronome or you're, you're working with uh, play-alongs or you're working with tracks, um, albums, right? Whatever you're doing, you got to make sure you're working on your time. I have a digital download store that has lots of play-alongs and uh, tools to kind of help you improve your time along with other stuff. Um, I'll put the link down below. Uh, this is M.G. Aleti Drums. I'm sorry I'm messing up your name. Um, being a passive player, no attitude. That was something I mentioned in last week's video. You can't be passive. This is a drum. This is an instrument of leadership, okay? of con You got to kind of lead the band. If you're not doing that, then you're not doing your job. John Hatch Drums. Playing with your shirt off. <laughs> that speaks for itself. Boom. And he's got a little clown face there, too. I agree. Uh, unless you're playing, you know, sometimes you're playing outside, right? And it's really hot. So in that case, and you're playing rock and roll, maybe. I would take my shirt off. I don't know if you want to see it. but All right, from my man Taylor Hatch Jazz, my main man from down here at UNT, great guitarist. He says, more cowbell, please. I agree. You can never get enough cowbell. All right, this is Brad jay harris he says having too small of a gap between your hi-hats now why that why is that an issue because if you don't have enough of a gap it's harder to get enough sound to really project and serve as the backbone to the groove so i agree with you uh fill every eight measures we do not need to hear a fill every eight measures that's from stelio xy dias uh, Liam Allen says, burying, bearing the bass drum beater. So in jazz, this is a no-no. Well, it's not a no-no because you can do it, but you also want to do this, take the beater off. If it's always this, then the bass drum starts to sound real thuddy and it starts to lose its character. And it's generally probably be being played too loud. So do this when you want an effect, but default should be beater off and uh, you'll be able to play lighter with it being heard. Okay, we're still going, y'all. We got a lot. Uh, Rory Pilboro, watching YouTube, Netflix, etc. while drumming. Completely halts your musical progress. Trust me. All right. Well, that's an opinion of yours. I don't know if I, I agree, because if you're doing some kind of warm-up, 
that doesn't necessarily need you to be engaged in what you're doing. It's more of just warming up your hands and going through an exercise, um, kind of a mindless kind of thing. I actually am not against. I often watch tennis matches or, or basketball games or things like that. If I'm doing something where I'm trying to memorize or I'm really trying to get a, a phrase and I'm trying to get it internalized, then that's when I turn off the TV and I really focus on it. And then once I get it, then I want to turn off my brain and see if I can still do it. So then I'll go back to the tennis match. All right, this is from Coleman Burks down here at UNT, one of my students, uh, great drummer. He says, doing the Philly Joe hi-hat crash on beat four after every phrase. Do you guys know what he's talking about? Let me just demonstrate. So a lot of drummers will do this. And then do it again. And then again. I think you get the picture. That is something that a lot of drummers are guilty of, and I've probably been one of those drummers. But I'm free, I think. We've got to watch it. Got to be careful. Okay, this is Drummer Will crashing on one every four measures. Please don't do that. It just kills the groove. It kills the forward momentum. Don't do that. Um, unless you're playing, you know, something that's more parliament funk oriented, which is all about that one. And they actually want that crash on every two measures. Actually, if you talk or if you watch some videos of Dennis Chambers, right, or Bootsy Collins, they talk about that one. Um, and it actually happened a lot when you listen to Parliament Funk, uh, Morris Day or Prince. Beat one is where it's at. Every two measures, that's kind of built into the groove. But jazz, not so much. Uh, Colin Hinton, my main man, great, great, great drummer. Um, for the love of God, please stop always bearing the beater. Again, somebody mentioned this before, and that is so true. All right, this is from Max21. Playing when others are tuning. Again, this is the same thing. This is the third time it's been mentioned. It must be happening a lot, and I think a lot of drummers have gotten arrested because of this. So don't let the next one be you, all right? Don't play when people are tuning. All right, this is Jialin Guo. Um, hunchback drumming, hunchback playing drums. This really affects drumming. Yeah, when you're doing this, again, this is the second time it's been mentioned. You're killing your back. You're killing your hips. Um, and it's actually not going to help you feel kind of open. It's not going to, you're not, you're not open to the rest of the band. As a leader, you have to open yourself, not close yourself to the rest of the band. Okay. Shreds, caring what other people think about your playing. We cannot care about what people think. Uh, we're going to play like that. We're going to play a certain way and it's not going to necessarily serve the music the best. Playing complex linear and too long linear fills that the band can't follow. Please don't do that. Um, unless you can really execute them in a musical way, you're serving the music and you can do it and not throw everybody off just for the hell of it. This is from Paul Griffith, by the way. Um, don't do that. Stay away. Um, also, he says overplaying. They go kind of hand in hand. Uh, this is Briggs Bass. Is this Paul Briggs? I don't know if it's, maybe. Um, another student at UNT, great bass player. Straight to the ride after the head on every tune. Yeah, we don't have to go straight to the ride after every melody or in head, right? Sometimes we can just stay on the snare drum with brushes or stay on the hi-hat, right, for a course or two or longer. Depends on where the music's going. Um, my main man, Big Funky One, Lyman Madero's great, great bass player, double timing ballads. Yeah, you know, it's you can do it, but you don't always have to. In fact, don't force it. Allow the, the soloist to kind of let the ballad go where it wants to go. Um, it can be really cool to do it, but it's also cool not to double time. Have that option, um, be open to that option. Okay, this is from Todd Stewart. A few more to go. I told you the list is long. Using just a handful of comping patterns over and over and comping loud. Yeah, you got to expand your comping vocabulary. Don't just play the same rhythm over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Um, and definitely don't comp too loud. Make sure you're playing balanced with the rest of the kit. It's a good one. Luke Stillwell, another student here at UNT. <laughs> 
He says, playing trombone. You're right. That is something that drummers definitely should not do. Please stay away from the trombone. All right, Dewan Mills. All right, former student from down here at UNT. I'm getting a lot of students. Um, sounding like everybody else. No originality or not honing into creating one's identity. Yeah. You know, I think that it's something that you have to pay attention to. If you're just trying to sound like somebody else, especially if it's a peer, um, after a while, you want to kind of open yourself to other options, right? You don't necessarily have to work on sounding like you because you you just playing is going to sound like you. However, you should be working on trying to sound like a lot of different drummers, have different stages where you're really trying to work on sounding like different drummers, and I think it's going to help you get closer to you, to your own sound. Um, but it's when you stay on just kind of mimicking or copying one drummer after a while, that's that's going to get lame, and therefore you're going to actually um, miss the boat on trying to sound like yourself, okay? So um, pay heed. Good tip, Dewan. Uh, Zach Johnson, another drummer down here, freshman at UNT. When the drummer doesn't interact, stays stagnant. Learn that he said he learned the hard way. Zach Johnson, I'm with you, and we've all been there. All right. Slouching. There it is again. Don't slouch. That's from Kirk Port Portuguese. Amalia, uh, when, when they try to be the main character, don't try to be the main character. Just be cool, lay in the cut, play the music, be a part of the band, lead and play confidently, but don't try to stand out. All right, Spencer Paulson, a great bass player down here, student at UNT, not knowing how to play during the bass solo. A lot of drummers play way too damn loud. Don't be guilty of that. You'll get arrested. Mike P Pilot, great, great drummer, down here giving a concert today, actually. Holding your breath for a chop. So he said, when well, you're about to go for something, you're playing, you're playing, and then you're about to go for something, right? And then you go, right before you do it, you go. That's not natural. And it's it's clear you're trying so hard, and you'll probably mess it up because you are trying so hard. Music by Thomas or Tomas, changing the ride pattern too much. Yeah, there. well, that can be a thing, but it can also be hip to, to keep it the, sta the same. You know, if you listen to different drummers, Connie Kay, um, Art Blakey, there's not a lot of variation sometimes, and it can deepen the groove. So I'm with you. Sometimes it can be hip to change it, but sometimes it can be hip to, to keep it. Uh, Nish Gannon Music, Piddling Between Tunes. That gets annoying. Matt Drummer, or Matt Young Sounds, Great drummer from down here in DFW. Death to the teeny cross sticks, please. What is he talking about? He's talking about this. When they sound like that. If you're playing a groove. You hear the, the quality of that? There's no tone. There's no um, depth to it. That sounds better. We don't want this. Careful. You might get arrested. All right, I'm still going. I told you. I told you. Josh Gederit, that uh, Buddy Rich posture. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. Teddy Cook and failure to listen to harmony and melody. Listen to the melody, guys. Another one from Teddy Cook, um, former student of mine. Bad posture causing instability. There you go. Another posture comment. The six... <laughs> Six-stroke roll, K-Z-O-N-I-W-A, mentions the six-stroke roll. Um, Todd Key for playing too many notes instead of meaning what you say. I wonder where you get that from. That's one of my students, Todd Kiefer. Um, <clears throat> not knowing where one is, boom, that's from Manny Jean Art. Um, I know I said it wrong. Yeah, you got to know where one is, guys, or else you'll get arrested. F G I F Gilmore, maybe. Um, hunching over the kit, sitting too low. Yeah, don't do that. Again, posture. Sophia, a former student at UNT, hitting the drums hard as possible when you're mad at yourself. <laughs> I, I actually recommend that. It's a great way to kind of let off a little steam. 
Jay Perez 306, the pinky finger pointing out of the stick. I think he's t- what is he talking about? Like, is he talking about this? I don't I don't know if I get that one. But I guess it annoys him. So be careful. He might arrest you. Uh Graydon from Winnipeg. I think it's from Winnipeg. At least it's from Manitoba. <laughs> How you doing? I hope you're well. Um, always being the coolest and best looking person in the band. You don't have to be the coolest. By virtue of playing the drums, you are the coolest. You don't have to try. Jeremy Bound. Uh, Jason Marshall told me to keep my eyes open during my solos. Ah, you know, I love Jason Marshall. Um, but that's, you know, to each their own. You won't get arrested for, for closing your eyes. Um, Teddy has a couple more. Teddy cooking. Le- less obvious one. Being so scared of being loud that you play with lackluster dynamics. That's a good one. Playing too stinking loud. They're kind of opposites. Just play with taste. This is long, right? Green tea time. Like my hat. Green tea. Mean green tea. All right. These are from YouTube. Dynamics. This is from J-C-B-O-Z-I-C-H. Dynamics. Oof, that was loud. Don't play too loud. It's So many drummers are guilty. They've been arrested for it. Um, don't do it. Just, just, just say no, right? All right. Ben Kornack mentions... Um, Hearing protection, got to protect our ears, right? For whatever genre you play, you got to protect them to retain your your hearing or else you're going to lose your hearing. And we don't want that. Not only will you get arrested, but you're going to not even hear the cops when they when they come. So might want to get some hearing protection. Um, CI4895 says, I played with a drummer who didn't have a You got to have a car. Get a car. If you're trying to be a professional drummer, get a dang car. All right, this is from Ear August 8619. Posture and playing tensed up. Don't be tensed. Don't be tense. Okay. Um, okay, this is a Mr. Mr. Misfit. My man, uh, good to hear from you. Always great to see your comments. Ordinary experienced drummers negatively critiquing others and new players. Yeah, I'm not with that. Just support each other. Support, support, support. Give constructive feedback, but don't come off as that drummer who thinks that they know everything and they, they just want to kind of uh, kill everybody's joy. Don't do that. That's annoying, and you'll lose friends and get arrested. Playing off-head charts without knowing the tunes. Yeah, you got to know the tunes. This is from Eldine Leger, Leger, Ledger. Um, you got to know the tunes, Okay. Got to know the tunes. Got to know the, the melodies. And you got to know the styles. Do all that. Do your homework. Um, or else they're going to come for you. Um, Dude Nader. He says, poor timing is the worst sin a drummer can commit, followed by not serving the music. Amen, amen, and amen. Tom Carr, my main man. Great to hear from you. Overplaying fills, playing fills that don't fit the genre. Amen to that. Um, this is Jonathan Ziegler, Ziegler, playing too much. That's come up a lot. Please stop playing too dang much. Trust me, they're coming for you. Uh, overplaying, lack of uh, dynamics, playing too impress, overplaying to serve the tune, not serving the tune. That's from Burning Trash. So many habits to break, so little time, but you have time. Trust me. Leave comments down below. Let me know what habits you've recently broken or need to break in the future, okay? That's today's lesson. I told you the list was long. I had my green tea because I needed it. It's it's so hard seeing so many people get arrested for stupid, terrible mistakes and habits that are annoying to everyone around them. Please, for heaven's sake, stop them. Terrible habits that you can break Today, just do it, please, please. I'm out, guys, peace.